Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. Hi everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. The FBI has broken up a homegrown terror plot by an unlikely suspect with ties to the area. He's the son of a captain in the Boston Police Department. Alexander Chicola was allegedly a follower of ISIS and the Boston Marathon bombers. According to investigators, he was arrested on July 4th. They say two rifles and two handguns were found in his home in Adams when it was raided. The FBI search also found two machetes, a long curved knife, and some partially constructed Molotov cocktails. Court papers say he planned to use the cache of weapons in an ISIS-inspired attack at a state university and would include executions of students broadcast live via the Internet. Sources say Chicolo's father alerted authorities last fall that his estranged son had a long history of mental illness and had become obsessed with Islam. Our Brandon Lewis is live in Adams tonight near the home that was raided. Brandon, some residents initially thought this was a meth lab bust, but obviously much bigger than that. Uh, yeah, that's right, Greg, and that's because the FBI wouldn't release many details about why they raided the apartment behind me on July 4th. It was only today that they released many details about that elaborate plot, and it didn't come as a surprise to some here in the area. He would, um, you know, walk by my, my house, like, every day. Mary Jane O'Brien first noticed Alexander Chicolo in her neighborhood late last year. I've been told that I'm very aware of my surroundings, which I am. He lived in an upstairs apartment of this nearby home. O'Brien says he would frequently wear traditional Islamic garb and appear distant. And I kiddingly said to my husband, do you think he's a terrorist? <laughs> then she started seeing strange cars, later identified as undercover police officers, parked on the street. You know, being there for hours and hours, and it just was suspicious to me. So I inquired and, you know, was told that it's okay. <laughs> the FBI says Chicolo was plotting a terror attack in his home on behalf of the terror group ISIS. He planned to target an unidentified state university with a pressure cooker bomb purchased from the Walmart in North Adams. His goal was to kill innocent non-believers of Islam. Agents say he was already making Molotov cocktails and planned to use them later this month. I don't know why. I just knew. And... Um... I'm not surprised at all. He could have he could have carried out who knows active terrorism. He could have burnt down something in town, but who knows what his uh, his intentions were. Chicolo was captured after agents say he purchased weapons from a cooperating witness with the FBI. Still, some residents are uneasy. A terror plot was beginning right in their own backyard. And the question is, how many more are out there? They don't work alone. How many more are in our town that are doing this, or any towns? And tonight, the Chicolo family released a statement saying, in part, while we are saddened and disappointed to learn of our son's intentions, we are grateful authorities were able to prevent any loss of life or harm to others. At this time, we would ask the public and media recognize our grief and respect our desire for privacy, unquote. Chicolo is due back in federal court tomorrow afternoon at 3.30 in Springfield. We're live in Adams tonight. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News. It's a terrible tragedy.